Okay, so in our study session, we had discussed about uh, the theoretical concept behind this uh, Docker file. What's the use of Docker file? And what is the use of Docker compose? And the third thing, what is the use of Docker swan? Okay, so all these three are used to manage the containers okay so here the docker file contain the needed specification so based upon the docker file uh, you can uh, pin your container if you want to have multiple containers okay so for containerization of a single application you can make use of a docker file so for uh, having multiple containers and which is a used to communicate among themselves, we need to go for this Docker Compose. Docker Compose the creator separate separate containers. Each container will have its Docker file. Docker file, each container that we are going to create will have its Docker file. And we need to have a Docker Compose file. Uh, the Docker Compose file takes care of managing all the containers. Here, as we told, each container need to configure it with some ports uh, to listen so that, that using the ports only we need to configure a port for each and every container using that ports only the containers may not have communication among themselves okay so here this is the theoretical concept that we have uh, discussed in our yesterday session now let me discuss a, a practical session uh, of uh, representing uh, one container uh, with uh, Angular JS, another backend container with a database like MongoDB, how to configure a MongoDB database, and, and server side uh, container with a uh, Node JS, Node and Express JS, all are JavaScript based. Okay, Angular JS is your front end container under which user will interact. This is a server side. And this corresponds to backend database. So when a user interacts with this uh, front end, so here this uh, interaction will be between this uh, Angular and Node and Node with uh, Mongo. Okay. So in this case, what we need to do, we want to create three container: container one, container two, and container three. And we want to make all the three containers to communicate with each other. Okay. Uh, for this activity, we need to have a Docker file, a Docker file for front end, a Docker file for uh, creating Node and Express, and a Docker file. It is not we can either make use of a Docker file or in a Docker Compose file itself we can directly involve this. Okay, MongoDB. So what we need to do? So let me create a container, a uh, Docker file for creating a container with angular js okay so here <coughs> so let you want to create a project directory so let you create a project directory make the directory let you make it as a project one okay In, into this directory you need to have uh, two files Okay, a package.json file. So move to this project directory. Into the project directory only you want to do. So the important thing what you need to do is okay, so into the project directory you want to pull the base image. Base image for the needed thing. So Angular base image need to be downloaded. Okay, so after the search. Yes, Within that directory, you need to have this uh, corresponding Docker files. Apart from this Docker file, you need to have uh, another uh, package.json file. Okay, you want to you want to whenever you download this uh, Angular node, uh, this uh, package.json file will be by default will be downloaded. Okay, so what is the use of uh, this uh, package.json file? Here, we will be going to use a, a 
NPM repository. You are aware of a NPM repository. It is an open source, NPM is an open source repository. Okay, containing uh, JavaScript. Okay, it containing JavaScript. So, containing almost uh, 6 lakhs of uh, packages. Okay, 6 lakhs of packages has been presented here. So, here uh, this particular NPM is needed uh, for managing the local packages. Here we are going to manage the uh, Node.js, uh, we are going to manage the INODS packages. For that, we need this NPM. Okay, if you want more information, you can go with this NPM. So, when you install uh, Node.js or AngularJS, by default, uh, this NPM will be installed. Okay, so no need to go up uh, separately. So, by default, uh, when you use automatic, when you install this uh, Node.js, this NPM is automatically installed. If you want to make it uh, update, uh, you want to issue the following command npm install uh, the update iPhone global, okay, which is the current directory dot. So, this is the process uh, by which uh, this uh, npm will create a package.json file, okay. So, what information is present in the package.json file? So, the package.json file is responsible for managing all the locally installed packages, okay. To manage locally installed packages, we need to go for this uh, package.json file. It contains the following information by default. Uh, okay, in the package name that we need to manage the version. Okay, everything will be managed. So here, after configuring this uh, npm, then uh, this uh, package.json file uh, can be installed by using the above step command. Okay, npm mini type hyphen yes. It will create a sample package that manager. So these are all the uh, some of the basic informations that uh, present in the package that uh, JSON file. This package that JSON file need to be placed in the current working directory. Okay, which is used to manage the locally managed packages. It need to be configured in the container where we are going to configure a Node, Angular, and Express JS. Okay, to take care of managing all the packages. So, the first you create a project folder, within the project folder, you need to have this Docker file associated with this uh, particular container, AngularJS, and you need to have a package.json file, which is used to manage the packages that it is downloaded from NPM. NPM is nothing but, as we discussed, the package manager, the open source package manager, which containing packages associated with JavaScript. Okay. So, let me write a Docker file for configuring this setup. Okay. So, here, this Docker file for printer. This is the content of Docker file for Angular video. Okay. So, you want to download the base image. Okay. From node colon latest or colon 6 okay it downloaded the version 6 of the angular js base image for both angular js and for both node js you, you need to download this particular package okay node js and then you want to create a working directory so that to move to configure this angular js to configure this npm packages you need to create a working directory so let me create a directory, make directory. Okay, so let I create our directory in the web source itself. Okay, under user we have a source slash application folder under which uh, we are going to configure this working directory. Okay, so we create a directory and you want to make it as a work directory. We have already discussed about these commands. What okay, is the use of the run or the use of this directory from? Okay. So, work directory, we are instructing to move the control into the particular directory. Then if you type, after this, if you type present working directory, then it will show it is under user <coughs> source and applications. Okay, now we have downloaded Node.js. Whenever you download the Node.js, by default, this NPM will be downloaded and package.json file will be created. Okay, that package.json file need to be moved into the Work directory. So, where it will be created, it will be created 
under the particular folder project one. Okay, so from the project one, and this package dot uh, JSON file need to be moved into the current working directory into the location. Okay, it want to move to the into the location user source application. Therefore, you need to issue a copy command. Copy the package dot JSON. So under the for user source application. Okay. Then after that, uh, you can uh, issue a npm package clean and npm package install command. Okay, run using this run. You issue this uh, npm. First, you clear all the catch. Catch clear. And you use the run npm install. This npm will take care of managing all the packages. Okay, so we have first downloaded the source, then what we did. Okay, so pull the base image where we have Angular and Node. Then here we have created a directory and make the directory as a working directory. Okay. So here only all the codes associated with this Angular JS will be stored in this working directory. It's used to store all the codes associated with this particular project. Then we have the ones the node has been configured. Yeah, package.json file is installed, and this package.json file is responsible for managing all the packages. So move this package of JSON file into the code where we have configured. That is under the following location. And uh, run all the <coughs> catchy clean command to clear the catchy. Okay, so the catchy may be loaded with uh, some other uh, previous values. First, it is a best practice to clear the catchy. So here, after that, what we do, we install the npm install. So here this npm install command, what it will do, it will download all the associated uh, package files required for hosting the Angular applications. Okay, we call this as, a, okay, what are all the files that it is needed, what are all the associated dependent packages that it is needed for hosting the Angular applications will be start installing. Okay, this npm will take care of uh, doing this thing. It, it, though it's, uh, it, uh, this command will uh, make a connection and to this uh, particular uh, <coughs> web repository and start downloading in the boiler place okay so based upon what it is specified in the package.json the package.json containing all the information like which version that need to be installed what are all the dependent it is based upon the current version okay this here current version is node 6 what is the current version based upon what are all the dependency packages what are all the associated files okay dependency files and packages everything will be installed uh, it will be taken care by this uh, npm okay so the npm starts npm install command will take care of managing all the things it's used to automate the management of uh, locally installed packages okay those packages which is downloaded from this npm repository can be managed by this npm and stuff. Okay, so now what happens? Everything is perfect. Now, all the next command, what it will do? Okay, so to copy all the codes from the everything, it will install and the project folder. Now, what we need to do? What are all the files that is downloaded? You want to copy all the file. Copy dot represents copy all the file in the current working directory into the following uh, location where we are going to build our application. Okay. So copy. It will download all the needed dependency files. After that, the files need to be copied from the project folder into the application folder where we are going to configure this application. Okay. Then after that, this application need to be exposed with a particular port so that it can be able to interact with other application. So what do we need to do? You want to use a expose command to expose a port. In our earlier example, the Nginx server, we have opened the port 80 so that when you use a web browser using this particular 
IP address and port, then you can able to access this. Similarly, this Angular JS application can be accessible in our browser by mapping it with the following port. Okay, this is the default port associated with this Angular JS. So after that, you want to start this. So therefore, the command is now it is in the following location. From the location, you want to issue the command npm start. Therefore, npm uh, start command will start the uh, angular js services that is configured okay so here this uh, command starts uh, the code execution for building the angular application it took some time for building this angular application okay so here now my angular is ready uh, so now similar to that of uh, creating an angular js container by downloading the source image and creating the project directory and using this npm manager to manage all the locally downloaded packages we too need to create a separate file for <coughs> server also <coughs> the server side that is for your node and express js okay more or less a similar set of commands that you want to use for your node js and express js also you want to download the base image from this uh, node 6 okay you want to create a work directory and then you want to <coughs> move the copy dot uh, package dot json command into the work directory okay what you need to do so here for node.js you want to open uh, the port associated with this so the expose command will be different here okay apart from that all other things are set associated with this node and angular js both the thing will be downloaded from the base image okay so there are uh, similarities 95 percent similarities in the docker file associated with node js and the angular js okay so here <coughs> this docker file corresponding to this uh, node js what you need to do okay so you want to specify only the port okay all other things are same please make a note okay here too you want to get the base image okay so after that uh, you want to create a work directory uh, separate work directory <coughs> and you want to move into the work directory by specifying the work directory command and a package.json file uh, by default will be created when you configure node.js you want to move that uh, package.json file into the following location and you want to run uh, the catchy screen, a uh, best practice, and you want to install the associated dependencies using a package manager, run. Then all the downloaded files need to be moved to the application. Here only it differs. Okay. Here we are instructing that this particular Node.js here uh, is operating on the port number uh, 3000. Therefore, in our Docker Compose, we will be specifying all these files. If we want to create a Docker Compose file. In the Docker Compose file, we will be specifying which one is front end, which services is server rendering, which services is back end, which need to be linked with other. Every information, the services, the associated links, okay, everything need to be specified under a Docker Compose file, okay, which is a YAML file. We want to create a first our intention is to create the separate docker, docker file for each and every containers are going to be associated with the project and laterly how to make use of this docker compose file to manage all the things okay you please make a note this is the, the second docker file which let you configure <coughs> yeah server rendering node and express js script okay so here now the third thing for backend is that we can create a docker file so here directory being we are going to make use of uh, mongo so no need to customize uh, each and everything we can directly download the mongo and we can make this uh, link okay we can directly download and we can expose a port using which uh, mongo can have interact with this uh, express.js or node.js okay there is no need to create a separate file. 
So you can directly make use of uh, this specification in the Docker file itself. So here you want to specify these two services, the front end services. This is your front end services. This is your server rendering services. Then you want to specify your database service, services database directly. Okay. So here next step uh, we are going to create a Docker file and in the Docker file we are going to <coughs> specify all these things. Okay. The Docker file is a OEIML file, YAML file. The default format is a YAML file. Okay. So it contains a detail about what are all the services that we are going to use. Okay, so what are all the network related uh, configurations? How to make these services to communicate? Okay, under which port these services are running? Okay, listening. And then associated uh, hard disk associated with these particular containers, etc. etc. So, what is the purpose of uh, going for all those things? When setting up a Docker application, what are all the underlying components that is needed? And how these components can interact with each other, everything that we need to specify in a Docker Compose file. This is your Docker Compose file. This Docker Compose file you want to specify, this is a OAML format, then you want to specify all the things. Okay, here this uh, Docker Compose file, ML file, will contain all the associated information. Okay, so here you want to install this Docker. By default, this Docker Compose file won't come by default. Okay, you want to install this Docker Compose file. Please make a note. You can uh, install a Docker Compose file by sharing a, a Docker Compose uh, from a GitHub. Okay, this uh, code has been shared in GitHub. Okay, according to your version of Docker, okay, then that uh, this particular Docker Compose file need to be installed. Okay, you can directly download sudo you can specify the github http secure github.com under which you have a folder docker under which it is a compose the, to configure compose file we need to download the following thing okay so here the releases under releases you have download Okay, you want to choose appropriate the release of your Docker configure. So before that, uh, you can uh, verify your Docker version by simply typing Docker hyphen V. So here it will uh, let you know the version running on the Docker OS daemon version. Okay, so based upon the version of this uh, particular Docker engine, so you want to download the appropriate version of your Docker Compose file. Okay. So we can make a verification. So what are all the supported Docker versions for your configured host? This is your Docker version that you configured on your host computer. That is your Docker server. So the similar supported version of Docker Compose need to be configured. Therefore, if please careful. If not yes, there may be a version conflict. Okay. So for example, if it is a version 16, if it is a version 17 like thing, what happened? You need to go for a, a Docker Compose version 3. Okay, you can make a verification with the Docker. That itself it will be listed. Docker documentation, if you go up with this Compose file, it will be listed. What are all the corresponding versions that you need to go up with? Okay, so you need to do the corresponding versions. Okay, the corresponding Person will be listed. You want to download from the corresponding folder. Each and every version will be managed in a separate folder. Okay, so then the command is Docker. I will share a document for this. Okay, just make a note Docker iPhone Compose. Docker iPhone Compose. You want to specify the Username for its uh, version and the uh, iPhone yes, okay. And another option iPhone username and the supported uh, files, okay. iPhone yeah. 
and with the option O, you just uh, I will share, you make a copy. Under the following or the user, local bin of your local Docker. Okay, this is the way by which you need to download this uh, Docker Compose. You can make use of any you are, okay, according to what you need to do. First, you want to verify your Docker version. Then, according to the version, you need to find which Docker uh, Compose is uh, compatible with this version, okay. And Docker Compose file compatibility that you need to check with this official documentation. And accordingly, this folder need to be specified, uh, which is supported version currently you are uh, having in your Docker demo and that a corresponding supporter compose need to be configured okay so this is the command to install a docker compose to download the docker compose okay now this uh, docker compose uh, will be downloaded into the following version so you need to set the permission okay sudo to by default it won't have any execute permission do sudo ch mode you can set all permissions now if you want to set execute permission alone you can set it so to make it uh, sure to make it easy set all the permission to this uh, particular docker compose okay by default you don't have execute permission therefore it will throw a error if you don't set this uh, ch mode permission okay You want to be very careful with this. This version number is very carefully. You want to go and make a check with this uh, Docker repository. Okay, so here. Then uh, this uh, corresponding uh, Docker compose is ready. Now, what do we need to do? Here we need to define our services. What are all the three things that you need to do? So open this uh, Docker compose file. Under the Docker Compose file, okay. So first thing you need to specify the following version. Under this uh, Docker Compose, you want to specify the version of your Docker Compose, okay. So by default, uh, the current version that I have configured is 3.0, okay. Docker Compose version. Next, we want to define the services. Next component is you want to specify the services. What are all the services that is currently running and how to club all those services? The first service name is Angular. This is my front end service. Okay, so Angular colon. So here you want to specify the uh, build to build the service angular build okay then you want to specify the folder let me make the folder as angular hyphen application so under this uh, project one folder so you want to create a separate folder angular hyphen application for storing the docker file and all associated thing to angular application so node hyphen application let me do another folder and we have this uh, mango okay so in this project folder is a common within this each folder you want to have the docker file associated with this entity okay so here in outside the project folder you want to have this compose file the docker compose file you need to be within this project folder okay so you want to specify the directory of docker file here in this build command you want to specify the directory where you have the docker file used to build this particular angular application okay that thing will be taken care the entire thing will be taken care by this uh, npm the npm will install all those things it takes care of managing now we want to open a port port so which port that we need to open we need to open the port 4200 we need to map the port with this so force therefore the mapping here it need to be prefixed with the dash okay so we have mapped the port uh, running 
in your container with the host port so that uh, when you type the IP address with this port number in a new browser uh, which you have figured in the currently running host it will open a, the angular js application here okay the next services what you need to do you want to specify the next service uh, node or express js express services name of the second service that you need to specify and you need to specify the docker file associated with these services okay so let me make it as node application or whatever may be node iphone uh, now it is up to your choice the folder name is up to your choice okay i want to open up port iphone i want to open up port and i want to map up port with this post port okay so here this is your front end and this is your server side express then it need to communicate with this database mongo therefore there should be a link between this server side and this database okay therefore what you need to do you want to have a separate key called links you want to separate the links to which service it need to link iphone you need to specify the service by name database we are going to configure database therefore this express js will have a link to this uh, the backend services so I, I need to create a service under the following name okay so i have created a service uh, angular I have created a service express and we need to create the third service the name of the service is database database folder okay so here uh, what i can do either i can create a mongodb folder and I can create a file, Docker file, which contain all the information. If not, I can directly express here without creating this. I can directly express here itself. So I specify the name of the service and under which I need to specify the source image, the source image which I need to configure for this service. If it is, if being it is a packet, we can directly make use of it. So here this is the image based upon a container is built from and the service mongo will run on the following ports ports to this is the default port where mongo is running and the default port will be mapped with the, the host port so these are all the commands that we need to specify in your compose file okay so here the first line we have specified the version, the version uh, corresponding to this uh, Docker Compose file. Okay, so here uh, if you doesn't specify the correct version, then it will result in a error. So you want to be very careful here. Uh, download the Compose according to the currently running uh, Docker demo version. Okay, that is your Docker engine version. So here we have defined uh, three containers on uh, by specifying this service class uh, Angular JS. Uh, express js and the database these are all the three containers which is uh, coming under the keyword uh, services okay so here in this case uh, we are inserting this uh, build command okay to indicate the docker file to launch the container okay to launch the container those informations uh, for launching the container we have already specified in the docker file in that particular folder okay so after that, uh, here we are opening a port, but then uh, we have uh, created a link for the database. So, it's, everything is perfect. Okay. So, here. You want to first build this uh, compose file. Okay. The docker icon compose build. Docker iPhone Compose Build is used to build the services. Okay, so here, once uh, everything it took a minimum of uh, five minutes uh, to build the services. Uh, once everything is perfect, five to ten minutes it will do. You want to issue this uh, Docker to start all the. It will first uh, based upon this uh, Docker Compose file, it will configure the needed thing. And to start all the services, the command is docker compose up. So, 
builder is used to build the services compose is used to start the container okay so after that now all the associated images will be listed okay and you got a compilation successful okay so now the containers are created and it will be posted and here if you want to catch in your web browser then open a web browser and specify the local host for your front end we have specified the port number 4040 it will let you open a front end angular js okay so for back end the same local host being it is posted on the same machine, the lock, it differs only by the port number. It will list the, the server side. That is your Express.js uh, that you have configured. Then for uh, getting your database, open uh, another browser, type of host 27017. It will uh, let you display the MongoDB. So here, if being this uh, MongoDB is a distributed database. So if your database size increases, you can use this uh, Docker uh, along with this Docker Compose. You have a command by name scale. So if you want to create many containers, if you want to scale it, uh, okay. So when your database server is not uh, sufficient enough to hold the data, you can uh, perform a scale up or scale down. Okay. Here, for that you need to use a command docker compose scale you want to specify the scale factor so scale here what we did docker compose scale is equal to 5 means the so number of deployments will be 5 for this okay we create this much of container for the particular service 5 containers will be created okay this uh, scaling scale up and scale down this we will uh, discuss uh, in our talk so swam cluster in our swam cluster i will let you know so, so all this uh, to ensure uh, the auto scaling and high availability we can ensure high availability we can make it a replica so if you want this uh, mongodb database to be got replica so we need to use this swam okay this is another service which is used to perform the replica which is used to ensure high availability etc etc okay so here how to configure as swam and how to run this uh, docker file along with this uh, docker compose uh, will be discussed on tomorrow okay this is the way you can uh, create uh, anything as you like okay so the docker uh, swam's intention is to achieve a high availability the main intention of going for this uh, docker swam it is uh, again docker swam is also a cluster manager okay so here uh, it is uh, used to create a cluster of uh, replicator containers okay so here uh, the docker each and every container can be hosted on different different nodes whereas here in case of docker compose all the nodes need to that is here in this case uh, the node of angular js node js and mango need to be hosted on the same server here if your node is in another server uh, Mongo is in another remote server. In order to make it communicate, for that we need to go up with this Docker Swarm. Okay. The main advantage of going for Docker Swarm is to ensure high availability of your services and high availability of your data. Okay. So okay. then we also when you once you configure this Docker Swarm, automatically the load balancer also will be configured. And then here no need to worry about this increased workload. As uh, you share, you want to exclusively specify the scale command to scale. Whereas the Docker uh, Swarm automatically what it will do. Whenever the load increases, it, it will automatically perform a scale up. Whenever the load decreases, it will automatically perform a scale down. Okay. So how to configure a Docker Swarm and what are all the sequence of process that is uh, associated with the Swarm will be discussed tomorrow along with this uh, practical session of what we have discussed today okay is it okay okay so by the end of tomorrow 
or Docker will be completed. If you have any specific thing to be addressed in Docker, let me know. With your uh, appropriate need, uh, I will go through. If not, from day after tomorrow onwards, we will be starting with uh, this Maven Jenkins. We have completed Maven, we, we will uh, start Jenkins. Thank you. Thanks a lot.